This is Michael Jones with Jerry Review, and today I'll be doing a review on this portable stereo audio transmitter, the model BTC1 made by Aki. And if we see here, um, this is basically a device that will can make other devices capable of Bluetooth. So if the phone, um, if your Bluetooth on the phone is uh, broken, or if you have a device such as a recorder or something that is incapable of Bluetooth, um, an iPod Shuffle as shown here, or an iPod Nano, Kindle, all these things that do not have Bluetooth capabilities, you can actually, um, you know, make it capable of transmitting Bluetooth, not receiving. So here are all the features and um, let's get into it. So let's just look at the, uh, the contents. This is the actual Bluetooth receiver. As you can see, it's pretty small compared to my Galaxy S5 in the outer box. Here you can see it, um, it's pretty small. Uh, let's look at the rest of the contents in the box. Here we have a um, adapter and here we have a charger. This is a regular micro charger and that's how it charges. And um, here is the user manual and the registration warranty card. So let's talk about the actual items. The regular charger that I spoke about and this is regular 3.5 millimeter to the RCA. This is just uh, basically auxiliary. Um, I think this is like right and left or whatever, but you'll see it on some of the backs of the old speakers or you know vintage speakers, all those things. On the back, you'll see this. So um, this is how it plugs in. So you can use this to um, to uh, basically auxiliary to your um, to your to this piece, and this uh, can just go into here and you know plug this into the speakers and you're good uh, to be honest it doesn't fit in that nicely but if you push it hard enough it gets in yeah, it'll get in okay let's talk about this piece um this is the actual transmitter uh you can see here it does not have a 3.5 millimeter jack that goes in rather it has one that's kind of connected um this is kind of sweet uh, fits nicely in here as you can see and it has a little tab to pull um so you can just pull it out one thing i do like about it is that um is that uh, you can you don't have to carry around an auxiliary all the time. Another thing is if this piece does snap or break or whatever, um, there's no repair. You can't really do anything about it. You can't just pull out another aux. Um, it's kind of done unless you figure out a way to connect it um, with the wire. Uh, the micro jack that we spoke about right here, here it just plugs in there like that. And um, you can use any micro cable. And there is only one button on here. I do like the design has just a knocker thing. Um, so if you turn this on, um, you should be able to see a light. And this is just to let you know it's on. And if you hold it down, it will kind of turn into pairing mode. Um, as you can see there, there's red and blue blinking. Now let's uh, try to connect it to my speaker over here. So here is a JBL Charge 3, uh, powered on. And that's the power on. Now I'm going to try to connect it and see. Let's see if it connects. And now it's saying it's connected to something. Um, and since this uh, light is no longer blinking red and blue and is just blinking blue about every four or five seconds, usually it's an indicator on any Bluetooth device that um, it is connected. Again, here you can see the power button. It is the only button on this piece. Um, to turn on and off. So let's try to play music from here. Um, I have my LG phone right here. Uh, let's make sure the Bluetooth is off. Okay, so there's Bluetooth. Bluetooth is off. Okay, now that the Bluetooth is off, let's play through the headphone jack. And I'm just going to pull this out, plug it into the headphone jack right here. There you go. And now it's showing headphones. Um, let's see if I play music from it, um, how that plays out. So since I love Lindsey Sterling, we're going to play Lindsey Sterling, um, the arena. Okay. We're playing prison by Lindsey Sterling and it is playing beautifully from my speakers. Um, and as you can see here, I can play pause. Since it's so close to my speaker, this piece right here that's just dangling off, um, it is causing some static issues if I pass it right by. But from all the way down here, it works perfectly. 
and it even gets loud. So let's look at the other features of this device. So like I said, making a stereo device a wireless device. Um, it says here the charging time is just 1.5 hours and the working time is 9 hours. I've actually used this a bit, um, you know, in the past. Um, it doesn't use that much battery, so therefore it is pretty good. Here are all the specifications if you'd like to see them. Um, and uh, it is it does last pretty long time. And uh, the charging time was very quick, to be honest. So, um, that's about it. Uh, I can't think of... We can test to see how far it goes. To be honest, Alki just surprised me. Um, this goes about 55 feet. Uh, very, very, very solidly. And no, no blurriness. Um, but that was just through uh, without any walls. And I was using my JBL piece, which is amazing. The JBL uh, Bluetooth is also amazing. So it might not be the case with yours, but um, if you're using two great Bluetooths, um, it's great. Now, again, to, to pair... Since you don't have a phone, you don't have um, the Bluetooth option on your phone. For like, for example, when you're connecting to Bluetooth here, so you have um, you know a list of devices and you could search for whatever you want. But um, this piece doesn't have a screen, doesn't have a list of Bluetooth devices. So whatever is searching at the time, so you have to kind of put this into pairing mode and then this into pairing mode, and they'll both pair together. So you can do it with anything, with any type of Bluetooth headphones or or anything like that. For example, let's try it again. Um, let's try it with these, uh, with this, um, with this headset over here. We'll put it into pairing mode. Okay, turn it on. And now it's in pairing mode. Let's turn this on into pairing mode. Okay, it's in pairing mode now. And they should just be connecting with each other. Okay, they're both in pairing mode. Okay, they're both connected to each other. Um, it didn't work the first time around because it was connecting to my S5. So um, now they should be connected to each other. Let's see if this works out. And they are connected. I don't know if you could hear it, but um, it is connected. Um, and it's not through the phone, it's through the Bluetooth piece. So um, you can see it's a little bit more difficult than regular Bluetooth to connect, but um, you get the hang of it. This is a transmitter, meaning that it transmits music. This is a Bluetooth receiver. It receives music. It also happens to be a headphones that plays the music. But um, just don't get confused between the two because um, you cannot play music to a speakers from this um, to a speaker that doesn't have Bluetooth. So just uh, trying to keep that in mind. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you. Have a great day.